morning. It is Sunday morning. It's a beautiful sunny day again. And I've just finished my lime marmalade from England, which is an absolute tragedy. So I'm just gonna have to go there and get some more. I'll be going there on, when am I going? Thursday. So for now, I'm gonna go down to the beach and meet Elizabeth for a second breakfast. The work has progressed further up the lane. I'm glad they did this in the winter. That would be a nightmare in the summer. And I said I would meet Elizabeth outside the church at 10, and there she is. Good to know that Capricci is just open. And I'm trying to film that, I backed into this big lavender box and fell into it. Bumper had to be hauled out. <laughs> church um, there's a mass going on in there but we just popped in because um, Elizabeth's got to pick up her daughter I've never been in this side room before The kids always take it in turns to walk Holly up on her lead, even though Holly doesn't like being on her lead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now going up to Carlo's parents uh, for Sunday lunch. I bought them a little packet of mixed cookies from the bar that I was in earlier. Mm. It's not bell. Oh. <laughs> Even though I bought my little packet of biscuits here, now I feel ashamed because look at the size of them compared to the size of this. Look at these beautiful winter roses. A lovely sunset and this is quite a lovely place to stand and watch it. We have had a delivery of gas canisters, the six of them, that we have to get down from the road level. So Carlo is trying to fix the Carello, our weird little machine that climbs steps with heavy loads. Um, it's broken down the last few times he's tried to use it, so he's tinkering around trying to fix it. Otherwise we're not quite sure how we're going to get our gas down to the house. I've just done some hoovering so all the animals have gathered in here out of harm's way. And Lily, that really seems to you the best place to sit? 
picking some spinach for lunch. It's really windy today, actually. The greenhouse is shuddering and shaking. That will do. I am fed up with being stung by stinging nettles. It's just a quick look at the brand new spanking wall that we've got and the garden all ready to be planted again. So Carlo and possibly Luca are here for lunch today. So I am going to make a very local dish, which is um, pasta with tortini. Is what it's called? Anyway, it's um, pasta with a sauce made with local pink flying squid. Now I always have a bag of these in the freezer. Um, I'm not sure whether they're available everywhere, but um, that's what they look like when they're frozen. Not particularly nice. Anyhow, I'm going to let that defrost. What you must remember with these little recipes that I'm showing you is that this is my version. This is the way I do it. And it might not be the right version. It might not be the way the Italian nonnas do it, but it's still just as good. So don't go and correct me, please. I've cleaned the flying squid and I'm now just chopping it into chunks. You need quite a sharp knife for this because they're quite tough. You are not getting any of it. It's useless that you sit there waiting and staring at me. Making a tomato sauce for it to go in. Um, I can't find any tinned tomatoes. I've just got tinned tomato liquid. So I'm gonna add some little cherry tomatoes that need to be used anyway. I can never judge with this chili pepper how strong it's gonna be. And we'll let that cook for a few minutes before adding the tomatoes. It's a little bit, a little bit runny at the moment. Carla has just poked his head around the door and told me that um, Andrea upstairs has made a pasta sauce with fish as well and has invited Carla to go and eat up there. So he's going to eat up there. So I've now turned off what I'm cooking and I'm making myself a cheese and bacon sandwich. We'll have that for dinner. Carlo has been outside working in the garden with his brother Luca pretty much all day. So I have taken the opportunity to come and sit down at the computer and read through everything I have written for this book that I'm supposed to be writing. I've had a break for a couple of months. I just needed to step away from it. And now I'm stepping back in, reading through it, and hopefully we'll start up again. Krista. <laughs> motor of what they used to grind up the stones to make the wall, make the cement for the wall with. And it's got to go back up to the road. Then we have six big heavy gas canisters to bring down from the road. So we're going to do that now. Just going to look up. You're all very excited, aren't you? And it looks like we're not the only ones transporting things back up to the road today. So the neighbour seems to be taking up an old fridge. Everybody else has just taken a shortcut through the olive groves and this is where the motor is going, so they're offloading it. The machine has just given up the ghost and died. Halfway up the steps. I have been sent back down to the house to go and get the Chiave Pappagallo. Some sort of, um, I don't know, tools in English or Italian. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you when I find it. Okay. Questo, sei sicuro di questo? Sì, si, sembra quella grande, non c'è una più piccola lì. No. No, no, quella è una forbice. È la bottiglia di VD40. Grazie. Okay. We have a mechanic at the very top of our steps and we're going to ask him for a quick look at it. Mm. 
Mm. Tied on nice and securely. Let's see if we make it back down again. And we made it home. He's just coming up the last few steps now. Thank God for that. Right, I am going to attempt to cook lunch again, hoping that somebody will actually eat it this time. Okay, I'm going to take that one. What is going on here? <laughs> okay, let's go cook. Keeping it real, I found this delightful thing in my bed the other night. Is this yours? Is it? You're naughty. Gone. Don't bring those into my bed, please. What are you doing there? You're not even my cat. <laughs> Luca has just called me. He has just given me something. Something that his wife made. Some mm, chocolate almond cake. We will be having that with our afternoon tea. And while that's cooking, we are having a wander around the garden, looking at all the plants. Remember at Easter last year, we planted some tiny little plants here and look what they've done. They've wrapped themselves all around the little lemon tree. It's quite sweet. Our fabulous orange tree, which last year was so bountiful and this year has managed to produce one solitary orange. We are off to start designing our chicken coop. It's looking nice and warm and sunny in here, so I am going to try and do some work and get some writing done. While I have been writing, which is actually going quite well by the way, Caro has been up at the forge and he has started to make a frame for the chicken coop. Me and Elizabeth are in Priano again, and we've decided we're going to climb up the side of the mountain, which we've never done before. Um, we're not quite sure what we're going to find up here, but we're just going to make our way up what seems to be a very old, unused pathway. We found an abandoned house. We've lost the pathway, so we're just climbing up the side of the mountain now. <laughs> Don't tell Bear. <Pepe. laughs> we found another abandoned Don't house down know. there. I think we have come to the edge. Dove siamo? Siamo proprio di la Oggi siamo qua. Sopra la praia. Sopra la praia. Forse. Così lui vede. Right, we found our way back down again and we are now in with her chickens again. We're going to see if we've got any eggs today. <laughs> Always there. Holly, <laughs> stop! I know it's all very exciting, but you can't chase them. You have to be good. We're going to have some at home soon. You have to get used to them. Somebody seems to be a little bit sad. What's the matter? You sad because mummy's going. Bye bye. bye. Bye bye, bye, -bye Lily. I have arrived at Gatwick in London. It looks like it's absolutely freezing outside and now I have to go and see if I can find my brother who is supposed to be picking me up somewhere. And 
welcome to my dad's house in England. It is awful weather here, um, it's really miserable outside. I was gonna do a little tour of the town, but it's just so miserable and gray. I might try and wait for a sunny day. Anyhow, I've been here for a couple of days now. There's been a lot going on, which I'm not gonna get into. I have now got to go and pick up Skye because she's got the train back from school for the weekend. And then we're going off to the airport to pick up her boyfriend who's flying in from Positano. Look at this, this is the luxury here. That was the front door. And this is the car. That is an absolute luxury for me. No steps. Anyway, now I'm off to pick up Sky at the station and I will see you later. And finally she has arrived. I just picked her up from the station a couple of hours ago. Her train was delayed, um, signal failures and all that rubbish. And now we're waiting for her boyfriend to arrive. He's on a plane from Italy as well, except his flight's been delayed and he's now not going to get in until probably about one in the morning, which means we're not gonna get back here till about two o'clock in the morning. And I'm really tired. And if it was an, and it was a normal night, I would already be in bed. So, so. Um, so in the end the flight got in about, what did I make it out the airport? It got out the airport about half 12 last night, so we got home at about half one and we go to bed till probably about two. So it's now just gone two o'clock in the afternoon, they've just woken up, so we're having breakfast, lunch and I'm going to leave this video here. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.